government should hang its head in shame. I call Jan Madam Speaker, I am delighted to have the last say in the second reading of this particular bill. I am delighted, Madam Speaker, that this bill is coming back to the House for the second reading, because this is a great day for public education. This makes right the attacks that were made to break the public education system by privatising a system by the corporation of our schooling system. This makes right what that side of the House tried to break, Madam Speaker. Last night during this debate, we heard about some children, or some young people, I should say, one of them, her name was Paris, who was doing well in charter schools. Well, Madam Speaker, Paris was a young mum. We heard that last night in this debate. I want to talk about Modia. Modia was a young mum. Modia is now a top chef in Sydney. I want to talk about the two Cheyennes, Cheyenne and Cheyenne, both young mums under the age of 16, both passing level three with excellence in NCEA, both through the teen parent unit. All three of those students are ex-students of mine. The teen parent unit, a state-funded education provider. The state education is where we can make a difference for our children. An alternative education system. Let's talk about the alternative education system and the lack of funding that that side put into that well, education let's not system. Let's talk about it because it's not in the bill. Well, but, Madam Speaker, can I so talk to the, the being an alternative to charter schools? Because that is no, the bill. No, what you can talk about is. Okay, the I will talk about. Thank you, right. Madam Speaker. We have talked about those children that they talked or young people that they talked about last night. And here we have got people in the state funded system that are doing really, really well. We do not need an alternative. We can do this through the state funded system. Repealing national standards is a seen as a move back to creativity and a child centred focus. This is what this bill does. The voice of the professionals in this system matters, Madam Speaker. The voice of the professionals when national standards were put in, Madam Speaker, was taken away. My voice as a professional at the time mattered, and I felt that my voice had been taken away. We are a government that is listening to our professionals, and we are proud of that. I want the final say in my contribution, Madam Speaker, to go to Diane Ravitch, a former US Secretary for Education in the 90s, who was once one of the strongest proponents of charter schools. On February the 12th this year, in her blog, Madam Speaker, she says, Hurrah for New Zealand! When she heard about this bill, she said, Hurrah for New Zealand! My hunch is that New Zealand has a strong tra tradition of good public schools and very strong common sense. Madam Speaker, I am proud, I am excited, I am happy, and any other superlative that I can think of to commend this bill to the House. The question is that the amendment.